welcome everyone and happy Stamp Tumber. It's Sherry Carroll here for SimonSaysStamp.com with an exclusive stamp set from Picket Fence Studios where I've created a fun rainbow looking card. The stamp set is perfect for your girlfriends that you can give a little bit of snark to. It features a set of drinks at the bottom and some really sassy messages to go with it. I'll be doing some stenciling today and I'm using one of the stencils from the Simple Patterns Trio stencil set and also a card front which is new to Simon Says Stamp. I have some tape on my stencil and I've laid it down. I've also picked out six colors here but I actually added a purple and I'll be stenciling each of those little panels. Before I go to stencil I'm going to use a half an inch purple tape and I will mask off the panel sitting next to the one that I'll be coloring and I am using Tim Holtz Distress Inks and my Simon Says Stamp brushes. I am working in rainbow order so I'm going to start off with the picked raspberry for my pink and I'm just going to run this down and blend it into that little panel. I'm going to actually add a little bit more darkness at the bottom to get a slight ombre look. So once I have one panel done I'm going to wipe down that stencil to make sure I don't transfer any ink to the next color and I can just move my tape to reuse it and I'll grab another piece to mask off the piece to the left of the next color. I love the Simon Says Stamp brushes because they are beautifully colored and I do use the same color ink as in the color of the brush. So this is Spice Marmalade and again I'm just blending that in and I'll add a little bit more intense color to the bottom. I've jumped ahead a little bit and I'm continuing adding my color in rainbow order and again I'm concentrating some of that color towards the bottom. Next I'm ready to do my stamping and I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and I'm stamping my drinks and message about three times so I have a really nice dark image and I'm using the palm of my hand to make sure I can press that down really well. Once I'm done with my stamping, I'll show you how this looks. It looks really cute just as it is with those rainbow drinks. It reminds me of some apple teenies and some margaritas. And next I'll start on some embellishing. I've decided to use some Copic markers and I'll just be adding in a little bit of darker color to the right sides of each of the glass. And I've picked out a Copic that will go along with each of the colors that I chose. So I'm just pulling that color out from that right edge and just adding a little bit of depth. And once I've added my color, I'm going in with a toner ink, which is T1, and this is just a toner gray. So this will go with any color. And I'm just adding a drop shadow to the bottom of each of the glasses. And then I'll go in and add a little bit to the right of each of those glasses and stems. And when I'm done with my coloring, it looks as though my glasses are standing out a little bit more from the background. And next I'll be trimming my panel down. I'm taking a quarter inch off of each side and this will center my piece and allow me to back it with a little bit of Audrey Blue cardstock and then I can put it onto a regular card front. And to finish this off, I am adding some sequins and I'm adding them where the colors kind of go together in that rainbow order. So I have some more of the purples and blues to the left and then I move into the pinks to the right. And finally, I am using a reverse sentiment strip and this is from the birthday set and it is black with white writing, which I thought would really add a little bit of punch to this. With a little bit of foam tape, I am just going to adhere this right under that set of glasses to the right. And here's my finished card. I love the brightness and cheeriness and all those colorful drinks without having to do a lot of coloring. Remember that this stamp set is an exclusive for Simon Says Stamps Stamp Temper 2020. It's available while supplies last. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, thanks so much for watching.